My involvement uh, with the Playhouse Square goes back to the days when I was courting my wife Janet. In the old days, they used to have these photographers on the street that snap your picture. That's the first picture that we have in our, our uh, photo album of our, uh, our life together. I was a member of the Board of County Commissioners. I knew that there was a group of individuals that uh, were interested in uh, maintaining the, the theaters. And one of the things that could have killed the project is that if we had torn down the low building, so we decided we'd buy the low building and preserve the theaters and it would be a twofer. It'd be good for the county. We got a building that was pretty cheap, <laughs> got some good space, and at the same time preserved uh, the, the opportunity for those uh, theaters to be restored. This uh, had, a, had the potential of really being something very, very special, an entertainment district, a rebirth uh, of, uh, of the Playhouse Square area, and it would then cascade uh, up through other parts of uh, Euclid Avenue and in the downtown area. Patrick Sweeney, who was a state uh, representative at the time, was very much involved with the Great Lake Shakespeare Group and they wanted to put a theater there on the lakefront. But I said, you know, I'm not going to be supportive of it <laughs> there on the lakefront, but I will be supportive of it if you decide to put it in Playhouse Square. And as a result, the, that group that wanted to do the Great Lake Shakespeare out at, uh, uh, on, and on the lakefront and build a new theater uh, decided that maybe this was a better thing for them to be supportive of, and that brought another group together to make that happen. It's probably one of the most successful uh, public-private partnerships ever undertaken in the United States of America. The largest theater restoration, I think, maybe in the world, and in terms of performing space, uh, second only to, to Lincoln Center. That's a lot to say. <laughs>